Hey everybody, welcome to Brick System Brothers. I'm on location today at the Omaha Bricks and Minifigs and I've got a guest to show us around. What's your name? My name's Brandon, I'm the store manager here at Bricks and Minifigs in Omaha. Yep, and you've been open for how long? Just over four years now. Four years. So up front, you guys have some of your minifigs out on display. Uh, could you talk about different themes that you've got up here? Yeah, so first case here is Star Wars. We have a lot of Star Wars minifigures, that's one of our that's probably the theme that we do the most business in. Star Wars is obviously really popular right now. We have a ton of Star Wars minifigures. And you guys just use uh, Bricklink to get prices? Uh, mostly Bricklink. We use a combination of Bricklink, Brickset, eBay. Uh, we also have sometimes some internal guidelines from our company about right. pricing. So as a franchise, Bricks and Minifigs, you fall within mm -hmm. some of those. Yep. This next case here is our superhero minifigure. So okay. we've got Marvel on the top shelf, DC on the bottom for the most part. Pretty wide selection. Yep, yeah, we try to have, a, obviously we don't have a lot of control over what comes in use, but sure. we try to keep a wide selection of a lot of different things. Because, you know, with there's so many shows and movies and stuff that are out all the time right now. And everyone wants something different. Yep. These are our collectible minifigures from the blind bags. So we've got some representation of every series. We don't have all of every series because some of the older ones are getting hard to get your hands on. Yeah, I mean, that's what, 10 years ago now? Yeah, over. Probably no Mr. Gold. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no Mr. Gold whatsoever. And then we've got a bunch of different miscellaneous themes here. We've got Lord of the Rings. Harry Potter, Minecraft, Ninja Turtles, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, most of this over here is Ninjago. That's a popular one as well we do a lot of business in. We've got a lot of your more classic minifigures down here on the bottom. So classic 80s and 90s space and um, you know Lego Adventurers, Power Miners, all kinds of that little bit older stuff. Yeah, getting Dinosaurs into getting over there. Some of the larger animals and stuff. Nice. And then over here, this last case, we have uh, entire collections of collectible minifigures. So we also, if we have a whole collection, we will sell them all together sometimes. Mm -hmm. And this is usually, I mean, if you're looking to buy a whole collection, it is 10 or 15, sometimes 20% cheaper to buy it this way if you're looking to get the whole series. Just everything grouped together yep. right there. Yep. So then that's the counter up here, yep. and then behind the counter you've got couple uh, completed sets? Yeah, like. so we do a lot of business in used sets. So we uh, have a lot of Star Wars down here and then superheroes in Jago City, Harry Potter as you get up to the front. This is stuff that people bring in to sell to us. And mm -hmm. we, anytime people bring in a used set, we put those up here on the shelf. Uh, and then up above the used sets, we got what we call like our top shelf stuff, the more expensive collector stuff that's harder to get your hands on. Yep, some and of this that, is stuff that we don't have in the store all the time. Some of that's even retired now as well. A lot of it's retired. Yep. Um, yeah, some of this architecture stuff is retired. We got some older modulars that are Cafe Corner, 15, 17 years old. Yep. We got yeah a whole lot of whole lot of cool stuff up on the top shelf. Those would be like uh, some collectors would have the Holy Grail set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is if you got like a Holy Grail or a White Whale set. Well, that's the kind of stuff that usually yeah. goes up on the top shelf. Really nice. So then, if we come around the corner a little bit. Yeah, so this all, all in and around here is more of our normal new in box stuff, the kind of thing you would find at like Walmart and Target. Mm -hmm. um, but we we do still have retired stuff around here too. Usually our retired sets are going to have a retired set sticker on them. Let me see if I can find one. Yep, here's a perfect example. This is a retired set. We still have some of them new in box. We also have something over here called Certified Used. So like this is a certified use set that our, uh, you can see the initials, P our uh, employee Peter did this one. Basically this means we somebody brought it in used, 
but we had the box and so we went through and we unbuilt it mm -hmm. verified with the instructions that every single piece and minifigures there we resealed it into the box so this is cheaper significantly cheaper than buying a new in box set completely sure. brand new mm -hmm. but it, you get it's you get more of the experience of a new set and it you know, you know it fits in with your other sealed sets over here yeah you can kind put of it in, in between Star Wars. price point between new and used yeah it's a good option some of these are also uh, current yep. teams. So all of these, unless it has uh, retired, it's going to be current. This is our Ninjago. We try to keep stuff spaced out by theme. We've got Marvel over kind of right here behind where you're standing. We've got City and Creator and Star Wars down this hallway. Mm -hmm. and then Ninjago. Do you, guys, uh, do you guys get stuff from Lego? Yes, we're this. part of a wholesale group that gets stuff from Lego. We don't have access to everything. Um, obviously, not like Walmart or Target exclusives sure. or like you know, toy uh, Lego store exclusives. But we have access to most stuff that we get wholesale. Hmm. It gives you a little more selection there. A little bit, yeah. All right, so this is kind of your uh, your sets area, and yep. then the other part of the store would be the parts area over there. Yeah. Yeah, so the sets area, we also have obviously the minifigure maker table, and then we have this shelf over here. This We have this shelf that's kind of a lot of different random parts if you're looking for things like boat holes or base plates. Mm -hmm. That's train, gonna be this shelf. Some over, train parts yeah, there. Train parts. That's gonna be that shelf over here. A lot of miscellaneous stuff on these shelves. And then over there we've got <clears throat> A lot of this is our bulk table. This is a big draw for a lot of people. I know that this is what I try to get every time. Yep. This is a great way if you say um, you buy a set on Facebook Marketplace or something or at a garage sale and it's missing four or five pieces. This is a great cheap way to find pieces that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. We sell them for just you know a few cents each, five, ten. 20 cents, something like that, depending on the size of the piece. Or if you need like a lot of pieces, say you're building a castle and you need hundreds and hundreds of gray pieces. Yep. We have preset container sizes where you can buy large, large amounts of pieces for very, very little. Yeah, I really like the bulk option just when it comes to this stuff because what I can do is stock up on things that I'd like to end up with. And it can be just pieces I'm yeah. interested in. Yeah, and depending, and the bulk, a lot of people don't realize how good of a deal. Like, Lego is expensive. Yeah. And if you were to buy a set, most sets have on average of, uh, cost about on average of 10 cents per part that's in them. Yep. So if something has 400 parts, it's usually going to cost about $40. Yep. Our bulk bags range anywhere from 5 cents per part to the biggest ones are like less than a penny per part. That's and it's a really good. It's going to depend on the size of the parts in there, but yeah. for the most part, a lot cheaper than yeah, getting much, a set. Yeah, much cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, so the only other thing I saw here was a little room you got back here. Oh, yeah, this is our birthday party room. So it's a little bit of a mess right now, uh, but this is our birthday party room. This is where we host birthday parties for kids ages five and up. This is just some stuff we haven't processed yet. Mm -hmm. We kind of use it as storage when there's no parties going on. Yeah, my birthday's in June, so I can't <laughs> can't do a party today. Uh, do you ever host like events here other than birthday parties? We like hosted business meetings before for uh, you know people having a business lunch and want to get out of the office and just have you know five or six mm. people come into talk about something we've uh we hosted a bachelor party once nice which was really just uh you know it was like six guys having a few drinks and playing settlers of guitar <laughs> uh, was and lego one. of course yeah um but typically on our bait for our uh, birthday parties these tables will have tablecloths on them that have kind of like a lego design like those balloons up there yep then we have tubs of lego and this racetrack that the kids can build race cars. Oh, nice. All the kids, when they come to our birthday parties, get a free minifigure out of the minifigure maker table. So it's a lot of fun to have a birthday here. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> we also have a person who will personally be doing the race with you, helping you build minifigures, and getting anything for you that you need. So mm -hmm. you get a lot when you have mm -hmm. a birthday party here. Full experience. Yep. So is there anything in the store right now uh, that <laughs> if you had to 
be honest, you would rather have in your own collection? Uh, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, what, I what always would... joke with a lot of people that it takes so much self-control to work here yeah. and not just empty my bank account <laughs> all, all the time. Surrounded by... I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so like, you know, whenever we get ships like this in, yeah. I just go crazy for it. And there's a lot of times I have to like actively prevent myself from looking <laughs> too closely at a Lego set because like... I'm not really into castles, but if I looked at some of these castles really closely, I would start getting into oh, castles. Oh, for sure. And I have to, like, have the self-control to not let myself do that. Exactly. I don't know if I could do it, man, to be honest. It, 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 <laughs> it. <laughs> what would be the top one, then, if you had to pick one thing uh, in the store? Number one thing in the store. I don't know. There's a lot. Probably the Pirates of Barracuda Bay is the number one thing in the set right now. That yeah, I, that's a good one. That I would rather have. Well, do we still have that? Oh, no, we actually don't. We sold that. We Never sold that mind. one? We don't have it. I think that's still available, though. It is still available on LEGO.com, but we, we don't have it right now. Okay. We're sold out of it. Brandon, thanks so much for yeah. taking us around and showing us what you got here at the Omaha Bricks and Minifigs. And uh, we'll get a, a look at the loose parts here in a minute, but that's, uh, that's it for the tour. So thank you. Yep.